Hey, GED students. Um, there's a student on Facebook, Mia, struggling with this example of an algebraic expression that you might have to simplify. I wanted to take a look at this one because how GED like to slip a fraction into algebra to try to intimidate you. But just let me remind you, pick up your GED calculator. You always, 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 always get a GED calculator when you are um, doing algebra on the GED. And so that means you wouldn't have to do these fractions by hand. Now, at Mia's request, I'm gonna do them by hand as well, but you could just type yours in to the calculator here and um, focus on the algebra skills, okay? So first of all, I'll just point out that we are simplifying here. This is not an equation. I don't have like an equal sign and something on the other side. This is just an expression. All I have here are numbers and letters and operands, symbols that tell me what to do. So all I can do here is simplify, do forwards math. I can't solve for m, figure out the m mystery, what m is equal to. So what I'm gonna do is do the simplification I can do. Now remember when simplifying, you follow the order of operations as much as possible. You do any groupings first, then any exponents, then multiplication and division, and finally addition and subtraction. So looking at that, just based on that, my inclination would be to start at the parentheses. Uh, but take a look here. 1 fifth m minus 2 fifths. There's a grouping right there inside those parentheses, but I can't deal with that grouping. Remember, we can only add and subtract the same kinds of things. And in algebra, the world of, world of algebra, those same kinds of things are what we call like terms like terms. And so um, I can only add m's with other m's or plain old numbers with plain old numbers. Since this term has an m and this one does not, they're not like. I cannot do that subtraction. So that being said, what should I do if I can't do the grouping? Well, let's take a look. There's no exponents. The next thing I'm supposed to do is any multiplication. And I do see some multiplication here. Notice how this 2 is shoved up against these parentheses. I can do this multiplication. Remember that we can get around the grouping by using the distributive property, passing out the multiplication to every term in the parentheses. Let's give it a try. First, two times one fifth. A lot of students start freaking out. Kate, I don't know how to multiply fractions. Come on guys, come on. If I have one fifth, two times, that's pretty easy. I just have two fifths, one fifth, and another one-fifth will give me two-fifths. One-fifth two times is two-fifths. So that one's not hard. So I'll get two-fifths out. Now, I'm supposed to now do it two times negative two-fifths. Now, I know it's going to be a negative. Um, but let's think about this. If I have two-fifths two times, I'm going to end up, so there's two-fifths. So let's do the same exact picture two times. Okay, so now I get one, two, three, four-fifths. Basically, and I hope you're seeing it, you can just multiply into the top. <laughs> two times one is two, I got two fifths. Uh, two times two is four, I got four fifths, okay? So I did that multiplication. And now this guy, this plus three fifths over here was outside of the parentheses. So he's not being multiplied. So I'll just drop him down. Okay, now that I did my multiplication division, now it's time to do any addition subtraction. And remember, we said it at the beginning, and I'll say it again, you can only add and subtract like terms. You can only add and subtract the same kinds of things. So I can't, I have nothing that I can add this two fifths M with because I have no other M's here. So that guy is just gonna remain two fifths M. There's nothing I can do with that. Since I don't know what M is, there's like really literally nothing I can do with it. But I can combine these two. Negative four fifths plus three fifths. Now this is tricky for students because oh my gosh, we're scared of negatives and we're scared of fractions. I will remind you that you can type this into your calculator. Um, so let me do it by hand first and then I'll do it in a calculator. If I owe you four fifths, uh, but I have positive, three-fifths, what's going to happen? Well, let's think about this. So I owe you, let's say I owe you pi. <clears throat> let's break our pi into uh, five pieces. Did I get five? One, two, three, four, five. Good. And I owe you four of those. One, two, 
three, four. This is what I'm supposed to be paying you. Okay, now I have some, I have some pie. I have, see that positive? I have it, three-fifths of the pie. So let's see, let me get out another color. I'll pay you this piece that I owe you, that's one, then two, then three. Uh, but look at that, I haven't paid off all my debt. If I give you three-fifths, but I owed you four-fifths, I still have this one-fifth left over that I'm still gonna owe you, so I'm gonna be negative one-fifth. Now I realize that was probably really hard for a lot of students to follow. So let's make sure we can do it in our GED calculator as well. So to do that in your calculator, you're going to use the minus button down at the bottom. And then you are going to use the fraction button, which says N over D. So um, I think that actually, let me change the order so it works for everybody no matter what. So you're going to hit the minus button and then I'll have you hit the four. And then the N over D button. Now it won't matter what mode you're in and then hit the five. And your calculator should now say negative four fifths. Now, super important that you press the right arrow to get out of that fraction, and then you can press plus, plus, and then the top of the fraction three, and then N over D again, and then the five. And press enter, and your calculator should also say negative one fifth. So great. Um, now. Take a look at this. A lot of students look at this answer, two-fifths m minus one-fifth, and they want to keep going. They're like, Kate, I want to do the subtraction. You cannot do this subtraction. We can only add and subtract the same kinds of things. One of them's an m, one of them's a plain old number. You're done. This sucker is as simplified as it's going to get. This is the final answer, two-fifths m minus one-fifth. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer it.